Hi, I'm Shane with eCharter.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Boss Foam Cannon Sprayer from Griot's Garage. This cannon sprayer is going to be designed to make it much easier to wash your vehicles, whether it's a car, a truck, RV, or camper. With this sprayer, it's going to be designed to work with a power washer. This is going to make it much easier when washing your camper or RV. You're not going to have to climb up on a ladder to use a rag to get those high spots. All of our interior components are going to be stainless steel, so they're going to have to hold up to the pressure of a power washer. All of our plastic components are very durable plastic. We're not going to have to worry about them breaking down. Our canister itself is a very thick canister. You can see pushing on it. I can't even push it in, so it's going to hold up really well. The canister itself is also going to have markings on it. Tell us how much liquid uh, we have in our bottle. You can see how thick our bottle is. So we know the bottle is going to hold up. It's going to have a flexible hose with a weighted ball on it. Uh, if you've used any other types of spray bottles with just a stiff hose, you'll notice at the bottom of that bottle, uh, there's a little bit of fluid left in there that you just can't get out. You have to take the lid off and you have to dump it on a rag. With the weighted ball, this allows this hose to float around or to move around in the bottom of that so you get all of the solution out of the bottom of the canister. Also, uh, if you don't want to pre-mix your solution, there is a bottle of pre-mixed solution that will mount right on the bottom of this and you just hook it up to your power washer. You can find that here at eTrailer.com. As I mentioned before, you can use any car wash solution in this bottle. Keep in mind, with other solutions, you're using two to three ounces of solution with your water. Uh, with Griot's Garage car wash solutions, you're gonna cut that ratio down to 20 to one. So you're only using 1.6 ounces per this 32 ounce bottle. It's gonna save you money in the long run. You're not gonna have to replace the bottle as often. So how this works is once we add our solution, uh, we hook it up to our power washer, we spray the foam on the side of the vehicle. That foam, what it does is it lifts the built-on particles, their debris, and holds it inside the foam. So then when we rinse it, all those particles fall off. A regulator knob is going to adjust how much foam is being sent out. We can increase and decrease by simply turning the knob. Our adjustable fan jet is going to adjust the width of the foam. So if you notice right here on the end, there's going to be two little metal uh, pieces. As I turn this, they're going to open up. That gives you your wide stream and your thin stream. And once you get your foam sprayer, you're going to have a little quick disconnect like this that hooks onto your power washer. You're going to notice it has some orange uh, sealer on it. Once you thread this in, if you ever take this off, you're going to have to clean all this off and you're just going to put some pipe tape on it. You want to make sure that it's sealed good so it doesn't leak. What we're going to do is we're going to thread this in. We'll take a 9 16 wrench. Tighten it into place. We're ready to mix our solution, hook up to our power washer. So to fill our jug, um, the best way that i found to do it, if you put the soap in first, what happens is most of the bottle fills up with suds. What I like to do is on the line, we'll fill it up with water and then we'll add our soap after. We'll take the ball and we'll just kind of mix it in there so it mixes with the water good. We'll add about 1.6 ounces on the bottle. There's actually little marks that will tell you. We'll drop the ball in. Just kind of spin it around a little bit. Get that solution mixed good. Put our lid on. And then to attach it to our power washer, it's the same way you would do your tip. Pull it back slide it on. So if at all possible, it's always the best when washing any vehicle to do it in the shade. Uh, we don't always have that option. So it's a good idea to rinse whatever you're washing down, try to cool down the metal as much as possible and get any of the loose contaminants off first.
start the bottom and go up. So if you notice, our first wash here, um, you can tell this RV or this camper hasn't been washed in a while. And what happens on these vinyl strips, you can see how it kind of molds up. There's not any wash that you can spray on that's just going to take that off. It's going to have to be, uh, you're going to have to use a brush to get a lot of that off. Um, so this is going to be more typical of maybe your camper sitting over the winter time and you're cleaning it for the first time. Once you get that off, that foam sprayer is going to help you maintain that. Um, you can see how easy it was to use. Going from top to bottom, you spray the whole top, put on your tip, and you wash it off or rinse off the soap. Uh, it works great. In saying that, uh, we do carry a brush here at eachother.com. It's made by Camco. It'll look like this, and it goes from 47 inches to 72 inches. By the push of the button, you slide it out, and it goes to 72 inches. So you can see it will reach all the way up to the top, the highest part of this camper. Very thick aluminum. It's not like your typical one uh, you might see at Walmart that's really flexible. Uh, very easy to use. Again, push button, you push it, and it slides and locks right into place. This is a flow through, so you can hook your garden hose to it. Water's gonna flow out of the end. Now, as far as our brush size, it's gonna be 10 inches wide, five inches thick. And if I had to compare it to another brush, uh, I would compare it to like a brush at a car wash. Um, I think this brush holds a lot more soap and works a lot better than the ones at the car washes. To hook up your hose, you simply spin your hose right in the end We're going to turn on our water. I'm going to show you how much water comes out of this. And you can see, even extended all the way, we're getting the same amount of pressure. This is a non-spin head. And what I mean by that is, a lot of brushes, when you put them on uh, the end of a brush, they're round. And they tend to kind of spin on there. This one, actually has a square head, which keeps it from spinning. Now about the brush. The brush itself is gonna have two types of brushes. You have a scrubbing brush, and then you have a brush that pulls all those contaminants off after you scrub them loose. Now on the end of our flow through uh, our pole here, it's gonna have an on and off switch. So when we hook our water hose up to it, we can shut the water off that's flowing out of the brush. This combined with the um, foam sprayer works awesome because we can spray the whole thing, use this brush, and just kind of run over it. We're not going to have to scrub it because that soap is working really hard to pull those contaminants off of the uh, off of the side of the camper or RV or your vehicle for that matter. So now we're going to go through it again. I'm going to put the foam sprayer on, I'm going to spray it, and I'm going to run over it with a brush. You're going to see that all I have to do is just run over it. I don't, I'm not going to have to sit there and scrub it like uh, a lot of other brushes require. So you can see here, with a little bit of help from our brush, we were able to get the mold spots off of all of our vinyl and the sides of our camper on our first initial wash for the summer. To recap, using our brush and our foam cannon sprayer together really cleans our vehicle well. After our initial wash, we can just use a foam cannon sprayer to help maintain that shine, whether it's on our RV, our camper, our cars, trucks, or our boats. The brush is also going to work great for the siding on your house. Our foam cannon sprayer, as well as a full line of Griot's car care products can be found here at eTrailer.com. Again, I'm Shane. I hope this video has helped you when deciding on the best car care products for your needs.